appreciate that. When did the XCal name change happen? Uh, I've always been called XCal, man. You kind of miss Rosalex, that's alright. Be quiet. Only dreams now. Only dreams. Dreams of killing Rex. That's what I'm all about. That is what I'm all about. I like it a whole lot. Kits. That's random. Well, that is a r r r random. When did they give you the n X count name on here? I've always had the X count name, Critter. Had to refollow to get notifications. Refollow? Hmm. That doesn't seem right to me. That does not seem right to me at all. Like it all, guy. Like it all. All right, all these bitches is dead. Hey, my ghost Kyle said, nearly three damn years. Someday I'll start watching streams regularly, regularly again. Sup, Bruce? I just watched Logan. That was pretty fun. Oh shit. Critical failures detected across all. Dear God, those are husk monsters. Alright, you know what? How about a singularity in here? You know what? I'm not I'm not entirely sure there's a problem. Singularity can't s oh god. Why can't I shoot? Okay. Okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> Fuck that then, I guess. Oh, I always thought good, someone had taken it to use I never used Roslax. What are you talking about, man? I don't... I don't get it. If this is some new Twitch meme, I don't... I honestly don't understand. on collision by Sovereign? Yeah. It's <laughs> a pretty shitty way to go. with your life. Where is Rosalax? No one knows, Ralifu. I don't know who this Rosalax guy is. I've always been Excal. But hey, why so changry? Thanks for the Twitch Prime, brother man. You can skip one now. You know, why skip it? Jemima? 
do all the things in order, man. Just do it. Play any Zelda Breath of the Wild. I like how you assume I have a Switch for you, man. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all, dude. And I am a 100% Mass Effect kind of streamer here. What I do, it's about all I do. It's all I know. It's all I know. It's all I like. The more Mass Effect I can consume, the better. Lordy, 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 is it pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Hey, what the hell? Our numbers there you go. Hey, Rakuda, for 39 months. Nice. With all that bits and stream money paying for the Switch should be chump change for you. Yeah, okay. Just because Twitch is cool uh, is insane doesn't mean I was able to get my hands on a Switch for a uh, for regular price. Unless you really think I'm gonna pay 700 fucking dollars on eBay. Fuck that, I'm not in a goddamn rush. Streamer, you have to play that new stuff! God, you're sitting here playing Mass Effect like an idiot! Besides, what what's up? Like, I... I was reading an article today about all the people who have problems with fucking switches that freeze. We've got dead pixels by the fucking millions. I mean, it's, it, am I really, am I really truly missing out on anything right now that I can't fucking do like two weeks from now? Even then, two weeks from now, I'm gonna be playing fucking Mass Effect Andromeda. That's a Krogan Warlord and a Gath Destroyer. Sweet. Alright, you know what? Well, let's get some damping. Let's get a Singular. Let's get a Warp. Let's fuck them all up. I mean, look. At the tender age of 12 years old, I have an entire library of final Flash games. Play on top of anything that comes out that might be somewhat interesting. Look, 12 years... I mean, the world's probably gonna be around for like what another another what like like five years. Like, we we got we're all we got this. We got this. We got this. Or maybe or maybe we don't got this. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe World War Five will will start tomorrow. I, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell ya. better respect. I'm glad to hear it, Slow Johnson. I'm glad by not playing of the Breath of the Wild doesn't make you angry. It makes me feel good inside. What the fuck? I mean, is he supposed to be walking slow? Is there a walk button in this game? Oh, as it turns out, there actually is. As it turns out, there actually is. <laughs> FNG, what up, do? What up, Daryl? Yes, shock troopers. Shock and awe, brothers. Shock and awe. Oh, no, you don't, Get Destroyer. Get up out of here! Walk button at 26. It's, just, it's weird. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know this game had a walk button. That is entirely new to me. Entirely new to me.
frictionless materials yet? What is it? Katana 8? Fuck the Katana 8. in this one to make up for uh, to make up for limited the limited ability that he has for his, uh, his these sprinting mechanics. <gasps> Come on, there, guy! Come on. That hurts. That hurts a whole lot. Sorry that username has been taken. Uh, speaking of usernames taken, uh, there will be no deep bot. There will be no Excalibur tonight. But uh, that should be. We should have that fixed by t oh, that latest at tomorrow. I think. Let's see how long it takes for the the good sirs at deep bot to get back to me. We all know X count lives matter. No Bruce Bucks, you're out of here. Oh, I know, right? It's a real goddamn shame, Enders. Real goddamn shame. I mean, is he like just standing there? What the fuck? 30, you'll have your 36k Bruce Bucks. You will, don't don't worry about it. These are shooting, right? I'm not sure my teammates are shooting. Fuck you guy. Probably at like a million by now. No you're not. Stop making lies. It's all fabrications. I mean, maybe with super speed. And, oh god. Level up train. It's here! We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Let's see, I could go that. You know what? I'm gonna go this way. Oh shit. Teammates are dead. That's bad. As soon as I join, he is gone. Who's gone? Definitely doesn't now take a rock. Okay. Well, uh, what I what I what I have to say actually really isn't uh, really isn't that important anyway. Where the fuck are we? Are we back at the goddamn? We are at the back of the god fucking sto. Start all over, boys. It's all over. It's all fucking over. That sucks, man. That really sucks. 
sucks. Like, forever and for true sucks. Fuck, rocks. And maybe we won't go that way. Maybe it'll be easier to fight like the 18 Krogan. Shepard runs like a leopard. I mean, I could just turn on super speed. I could just do that. That's a thing. That's a thing we like using here. to bring more blackjack and hookers. That is the plan. All talk is down. That Enemy is contact. the plan and it's gonna be glorious. Sorry, I don't know what blow is. You'll have, you'll have to bring it up with a respected member on F the blow, just get some broads. <laughs> I don't think he'll be getting any broads in Streamtown. Come on. We have to be realistic here. Is there a fucking rocket room or something? What the fuck, guys? That theme is when it kicks in. I mean, you don't have to do a goddamn thing, which is cool. New X Cal taste. Same Razi attitude. Oh shit. Cheer one exclamation point, cheer 100k, <laughs> if only, 
If only. I've lost shields! Oh, shit, what the fuck, Gath Destroyer? Fuck off. Staring death right in the face there. I don't think I like it. <laughs> and then we never saw the destroyer ever again. Who the fuck refers to women as broads? Uh, Sandy Ravage fanboys. I believe is the, uh, okay. Can I get out of combat here? You know what, fuck it, I'm going down there. And if, if my eye, if my eye don't, 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 don't deceive me. I believe there are a couple Sandy Ravage fanboys in this chat. We'll go, we'll go down this way. I don't want to get one shot by crazy fucking rockets. The Krogan Death Squad. The Krogan Death Squad ain't no thing at this point. Ain't no thing. We got deeps for days, deeps for days. What the hell? I lost shields! Shields for what? What, the Krogan Battlemaster? Get your ass over here. Damn him. See? No problem. Krogan Battle Master ain't gonna fucking get my sh fuck my shit up. Not this time. Fucking Krogan Warlords. No problem. Ram Ranch. No problem. We got this. We got this. The level of crowd control. It's insanity. Please, we're playing on insanity. Okay, Krogan Warlord, can you, like, die already? Goddamn. It's a well oiled machine we've got here. Pulse rifle. Omni gel at all. Frictionless materials! Yes! Yes! Give me that, give me that frictionless materials. Actually, I mean... You know, I mean, with the scram rail... You know what, no, I'm gonna stick with the scram rail, fuck it. I only overheat when Marksman isn't up. Marksman only has a downtime of like, like five seconds at this point. God damn, I'm thirsty for water like a motherfucker today. More peasant who is unfit for dangerous work and fight, but the bit mines are awesome, man. I love me some bit mines. How excessive the upgrade. Excessive? What? What's wrong with this? I think this shit's great. Wait. Lift isn't gonna do anything anymore. Not really. Ten isn't enough, but you've seen people drop five. What? The limit in... This chat is five, Enders. 
What you talking about, son? The 75. I told y'all the mountains was open for business. I told you. Thank you very much, Thinkosaurus. The one bit spam. Oh, God. I guess your bits are worth less. I guess your bits actually aren't endorsed by the Griffin AM sponsored bits. Damn shame. Damn shame. Damn shame. Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both. Wow! The of You're the best, almost. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Option. <laughs> you get maximum paragon points for convincing a man to kill himself. <laughs> uh, change your Twitch name. I've always had this Twitch name. Right, pretty girl? Pretty girl! Pretty girl says yes. Kill Ashley on Vermeer? No. 
Why would I do that? I love Ashley. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? <laughs> this is bigger than humanity. <laughs> that makes no Southern sense! Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. God the damn, order, Karis. Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back. <laughs> damn. I guess Garrus still is an ice cold motherfucker. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Escape pods, that motherfucker. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Did you just assume the goddess's gender? If only saving Rex was so simple. Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. boss fight in the game. Man, and he's got ultra mega Comcast haze. The fuck? Oh, gee. Okay, Karis. Come on. Get your shit together. Alright. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, Liar, now it's your turn. <laughs> Okay. All right. We've we've got we've got good crowd control. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But I think we can do better. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right.
Oh, <laughs> I should have kept holding the trigger. <laughs> monster down no matter what the cost. Yeah, well, I lost my cooldowns, bro. I lost my cooldowns. Yeah, I got this. No problem. No problem. Sean Kenneth for three months in a row. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> Best boss fight in the game, right there. Wow, we actually brought Caden with us. We would have been able to fucking perma lift him. Over, you're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice 
and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Yeah, going over instead of around big things. Well, going over it is a lot more triumphant looking. Duh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sanctum access. Black cats. Whose footprints are these? <laughs> Black cats, you say. And Kmart toast. Fuck humanity, yeah. Humanity really is just full of a bunch of scum. That's why you need a win. I want a true advocate for humanity on the council. Someone who will protect the interests of our species no matter what. I want Adina. Well, the Ambassador has worked with the Council in the past, and we are familiar with his style and methods. A little too familiar, you could say. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, Counselor. I've been holding back. I am certain we will all learn to work together in time. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. Together, we will drive them back into dark space. Aren't they already in dark? They're already in dark space. Dumbass tree, eh? So, is the dumbass tree, is that Odina's wow. counselor? You're the best, almost! <laughs> uh, Mass Effect 1 may have, may have its dated flaws, but god damn it, this game isn't good. I like it. Thank you very much, Spiders L. Paralyze. Gentlemen and sirs! Odd curse, eh? 
Bond Curse, eh? Where'd she go? Uh, I, mean, I, could, I could do a shot. <laughs> Plus this theme, this theme too. Can't say no to that. Stream, are we ready to cap off our Mass Effect 1 playthrough with that thing they call shot? Are you ready? <sighs> Are you ready, pretty girl? Pretty girl says yes. All right. All right. Counting it down. Three, two, one. Cheers. Out of the bottle, and uh, I'm gonna throw the cup. I'm not gonna throw the bottle on the ground. Then I just break the bottle and waste all my liquor. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Well, at least you were here for the ending, Missy Killer. Don't worry, don't worry, bro. You got this. You must respect. Look, yeah, put a little, put a little respect on the liquor. Just do it. Just do it, bro. Hey, er, not Rex. <laughs> He's dead. Hey, yo, it's my boy Keith David. I love that guy. This song is fucking good. Pretty goddamn good. Alright, so what do we think, stream? Did we enjoy our, our Paragon, our killing of Rex, our boning of Ashley, and our promoting of Udina to Counselor? Did we approve? I don't think that exists. Degenerate tier playthrough. Hey man, I did lots of things that you guys ain't never seen before. Interesting choices. What? Choices need to be made. Not enough sexing of blue alien women. Uh, what? But, but that's weird. No one likes Caden. No, no one really likes Caden in this, like at all. As long as Rex lives, I don't care what you do. We killed.
killed Rex and then we used his skin as a condom while I fucked the lady who killed him. I think this might be my finest Mass Effect 1 playthrough ever. I keep that down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have fun with that and uh, use it responsibly. like three troopers to make 40,000 credits. That ain't worth my time. We played Hacky Sack with it, actually. What's going on now with Joe? Hi, hi. Austin is very special thanks to our families and friends whose patience and support helped us reach for the stars. They didn't actually reach for any stars, though, right? I mean, they're pretty far away, huh? 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 <gasps> Dear God. It's all over. It's finally over! What a great game. I love Mass Effect. Except for getting a uh, shoved through a bridge on on Pharos while in the Mako, that uh, that was not one of the that was not one of the prouder moments. But who is who is streamer? Nobody knows, Kitsune. Nobody knows. I killed Zarazalax and then evolved into Excalizors. It's just the way it was meant to be. But all right, I guess we could do we could do a little a little Mass Effect two. I think. Then a name change broke everything. What you're here right now, Enders? Installing the latest version of Origin. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, come on. Come on, or Oh, God, why doesn't this thing have a dark theme, man? It's a great time to join Origin Access. Last chance to try free for seven days. Don't miss out on tons of great games, discounts, and more. I'll take my chances. I will take my chances. Alright, let's see how this shit works. Name change sucks. What would you have me do? What would you have me do? Romancing Jack in Mass Effect 2. That would be new. Okay, yeah, well, uh... Eh, well, uh, this is currently a 420 by 780 screen. What is it? 720 by 480 screen here that I'm looking at. Oh, that theme, though. That theme, though. Cerberus, by activating, log in or create an EA account. Alright, hold on. Hold on. 
let's see. Okay, hold on. Windows Firewall has blocked some features of this program, but... But why? Okay, uh, give me one second here. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's see, is this the right? Oh God! Wow! Let me type it out. You're the best. Almost. Hey, Kmart toaster, thirty bits. I will take it. And stealthy Scotsman for seven months in a row. Hey, Bruce, I love your Mass Effect playthroughs. Can't wait for Andromeda. My gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Is that the right password? That, was, that had to be the right password. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay, uh, I need my options. Gameplay, insanity, subtitles, yes. Squad power usage, no. All right, graphics, voting on a class, like high quality, enable dynamic shadows, sure. Film grain, no. Up, 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 there we go. Sound. What the fuck? Okay. I guess I can't change that. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't change that. So it would seem. Can I change it now? What the f. Can only do it in 10 per. What? Sound effects, volume. There we go. This this should be good. Whoa! King Cash, he's here! He's here! <laughs> Everyone, best behavior! Alright. Okay. New content available. What new con- I have all the content. Go buy- ah, oh, da, da buzz off! Buzz off. Alright, import ME1 character. Mass Effect 1 save game not found. Please run the configuration utility to copy your save games to the appropriate location. Point 2 with any mods? What? There. There's mods for Mass Effect 2. Besides, like, turning off the global cooldown. You have 10 minutes free and you're spending it with me. I'm sorry to hear that, King Cash. <laughs> apparently, I gotta run the uh, configuration tool. Where the fuck is that? I want my save, man. Oh, this is bad. Look forward to all the planet scanning. I'm gonna hack me some credits. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Get this! Get this friend's fucking list out of here! Extra content. Oh no! Is this is this what I get for installing this on Origin? That so you can skip planet scanning. Uh, couldn't you just like edit ini files for that? Comcast rep. For reals. Oh yeah. I need to do I need to do a thing that lets me skip all these fucking loading screens. 
Legion and Tally early. Getting Legion early really a mod. <clears throat> all right. It gives you all elements and anomalies in one click. Please run the configuration utility. Okay. I guess we're doing a little Google Foo here. This is always fun. Alright, so... Mass Effect 2 Configuration Utility Origin? It was considered a mod for this game. Okay. Since the release of the many people have asked how to import files from ME1, if you installed the game through Origin, the configuration utility should be located here. Program files, Origin games, Mass Effect 2 binaries. Okay. Okay, so... Program files... Program files... Origin Games, Mass Effect 2, Binaries, Mass Effect 2, Config. Open. Or does it not work when Mass Effect 2 is open? Okay. Glad you stopped it. I blew it! Hey, you just missed the ending to a fantastic game, King Cash. You can't, you can't always blame me. You just, you just, you just can't. What the fuck? Open. Oh, huh, just had to right click it. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Mass Effect 2 Configuration Utility. Hmm. Have a retail copy, Mass Effect 2, go to save games. And go to save games. Copy Mass Effect 1, save games. That should be in documents. Hey, you guys want to see my taxes? Well, guess what? You fucking can't. Libraries, documents. My documents, Bioware, Mass Effect, save. Is it doing its thing? Give me a break this time. <laughs> King Cash is most merciful here. Okay, if it doesn't appear anything happened at all, but it should be fine now. Start ME2 and you should be able to import your save file from ME1. Okay. Save changes, Mass Effect 2 settings, sure. Alright, well, let's see if it worked. It better have. King Cash is about to take over Texas for debt. <laughs> don't, don't tread on me! <laughs> Forgot to delete System 32. I like System 32 though, Enders. I like it. Oh, that suicide mission theme. So good. So good. Import. Yes, Bruce Shepard! Right on. Alright. Here we go. Import character. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's pretty goddamn wonderful. I'm a ha! <laughs> Kitsune got wrecked. Wrecked. All right, rank 49, Vanguard, Paragon. Er, not Rex was terminated by Ashley Williams during the mission of Vermeer. 
That's what I like to hear. Caden Alenka was killed on Vermeer. The council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! down multiple hull breaches weapons offline somebody get that fire out
Uh, no, no Ashley romances in Mass Effect 2, but we will stay faithful mayday, to her. Shepard is honest. Why can't we? I can't Baby, leave Boo like that. All, All right, King Cash, take it easy, man. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to waste your ten minutes with Streamtown. Romance. Being faithful is the worst. I mean, it's the Paragon thing to do. Here, what's going on, FOP? Where the hell have you been? Doesn't have a one night stand to Jack? No! Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Uh, you do know the vacuum of space is like two feet behind you, right? <laughs> the Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Goddamn Tallymancers. Commander! Shepard! Slept with Jack. Went upstairs and slept with Miranda. Man, we got some dirty motherfuckers in chat. Yeah, you can't romance Tally in this one because we're going to blow her up with a, with a grenade launcher in Freedom's Progress. Oh, look at Boppy. He's dropping the soft A's. I don't know, man. Do you have an official screwball card to be talking to me like that? I think I might have to punch you in your goddamn eye. I think Tally has to die this playthrough. Yeah, we're grenade launcher. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're gonna grenade launcher her. Oh no. I don't want to do this! No! No! I know what happened! I just played just the game! routine mission. No. Okay. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. Wait a minute. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. That dipshit's gonna be on my Look desk again, guy. isn't he? We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, Ready to take on whatever came her way. What about Ashley Jenkins? Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out wow! of the Wow! You're the best, almost! Me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. 
By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. You'll get over it, Malefactor. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime. And there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. <laughs> he turned out to be He's more than dead. just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The I will allow Tally to, to live for 300,000 bits. Wow! You're the best, the almost! The knack for hacking. She'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's Man, flagship. Skip out on her ass. But it went much further. Comics, that's for sure. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. Oh, the bit cup is blocking it. <laughs> we couldn't convince ah! the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asar. Her, chest was that big and her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to... Whose footprints are these? <laughs> You're gonna hit a lot more than that, old tease. Liara is still there. on someone else. Tally, tally. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Wait Sam. a minute, when did that... I never had that conversation with Thanks her. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria. Wait, where he what about Pharos? race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. Uh, FOP, we use the configuration utility. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. Nope, Tally is not spared. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, 
a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. <laughs> Rex disagreed. <laughs> Rex face. Violently. <laughs> Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. He just couldn't be reasoned with, and I couldn't let the base be saved, even if it meant curing the Krogan. Saren had to be stopped. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign. Saren's flagship, we'd all assumed, was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. We couldn't make it in 28 by 28 Before and, uh... I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. I'm surprised he remembered that was FNG. A good man and a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Ash. It's because we that love That was her. the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, <laughs> we chased Saren and his army to Atlas, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Ash saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. Oh, wow, nice. It was intact, oh, oh, we can do wield, can we? He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, okay. and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The 
Galactic Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the Galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined Galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Adina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. What? Does this game seriously forget who I chose? What the fuck, man? I didn't much like Udina, but sometimes you need a pit bull on your side. Someone willing to be the bad guy, for the sake of the greater good. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. Hey, I that's spoilers for way. three, Malefactor. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. I mean, it, it was kind of worth it watching this again for that shit-eater picture. <laughs> Udina is the bad guy. Just because he's a politician doesn't make him a bad guy. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Vital information like it's nothing. Does does Enders genuinely care that we talk about future things or ha things that event things that happen in the future of the series, or is he being a filthy mil milk drinker as usual? Oh man, these loading screens are. There's a mod to have better loading screens, right? Because these things kind of do suck. Ah, that's the shepherd I know and love. Hmm. And just like that, uh, his face has been. Oh, wait, nope. We're, we're keeping Bruce Vin Diesel shepherd. Or toasted shepherd. Yeah. 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 Looking good. Loading screen should contain Forn. <laughs> Forn axe is all we'll be needing for the suicide mission. <laughs> all right, stream. Mm. Well, I mean. Should I even really waste my time doing a poll? Because I know what people are gonna vote for here. I just, I just know. But you know what? Just in case, the stream might surprise me. So I think we'll we'll do that thing that we do. So let me let me boot up the old Strompol. 
Straw poll, let's see. ME2 class. All right, we got soldier, infiltrator, vanguard, sentinel, adept, and engineer. All right, so, uh, all right, create poll. The poll has been completed. We shall allow all votes. All votes are good here, stream. Vote Firewalker. Fuck your Firewalker. Alright, and since it is Mass Effect 2, we could do that thing. Let's see. Whose footprints are these? Uh, Marude Chenstorm. Bit mines were kind today. New badge as well. Take my bits, you filthy Rex killer. <laughs> Gladly. Gladly. You're gonna play, right? Play. Do the thing. Come on. Do it. There we go. Oh no, spiders out, don't leave me with the weebs. All right. For this, we shall be a democracy. It's fair, everyone has a vote. All your votes are equal with one another. There will be no electoral college or anything like that. Cast your goddamn vote. Do something right. Broadcaster spam, good. All right, let me see if I can fix Moobot. Mm. Oh no. Widow needs you say more, maybe. Maybe, oh no. Oh, we're going to have to redo all of our commands. Oh, that sucks. Until Bruce overrides the votes. Now, why would I do a silly thing like that? Let's see. <clears throat> oh, son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Get in your name changes now, because tomorrow... Oh, shit. Well... Because... What's from... Oh. It's all right, we can do discount move on. Oh, fuck. The spam filters. No! Hey, better man D for 10 months in a row. Appreciate that Russians are allowed to vote. Yeah, sure, why not? Did they fix my deep bot yet? They most certainly have not. Are there any Moobot commands that we uh, drastically need here? Fuck. Goddamn name changes ruin everything. Alright. We'll give this another 30 seconds. Alexa! Timer for 30 seconds. Okay, ignore me. That's cool. <laughs> Fuck you too, pal. 
Alright, fuck it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Well, uh, 126 votes. Okay. Okay. Wow, people wanted to see Engineer, really? 36 votes for Vanguard, 30 for Infiltrator. Who needs to know how long he's been alive for? I know, right? I know! Well, I'll, I'll make this... Wait, chat commands? Fuck. Command list. Move on. Ah. Uh. Okay. Creates. Inserts. Where is it? Insert. Okay. Hey, Karatan! For 20 months in a row. That I like. Okay, alright. There we go. We, ha we have some discount Moobot functionality. Okay. Well, well, I guess we're playing... I can't say I'm surprised by... Uh, by this Vanguard it is. Dear God, that's Vanguard. Vanguard, Soul Survivor, alright. Aren't there bonus powers in this game? This is why chatbots suck. What? What's wrong with it? I like Moobot, and I like Excalibot. They're all cool. Pretty go. Like pretty go. Yeah. Something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of its surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Steve Blum's voice. I mean, that or the sight of Miranda's big ass. That looks fucking disgusting. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry! Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. Level 2? That's it? 36 ready. Yeah, 190 Paragon. Excellent. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Thermal command. I Oh shit. How do we level up in this game? All right. Uh let's see. Hmm. Well, uh Charge it is. <laughs> Charge it is. Once you see the reporter chick in ME3, the reporter chick, uh, what's her name? Uh, what was it? Jessica. Jess yeah, good old Jessica Chobot. Why does someone want to kill Tfosa? They want to know the secret to immortality, Fencer Brave, and they have to take his life to do it. Alright, 
shift. Why does it shift? Oh no, is this the beginning of Spacebar does everything? <laughs> Only level two, yeah. Not much we can do. Open the fucking door. Oh, it's fucking Spacebar. God damn it, game. Bitch, I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. I ain't scared. We keeps it real. Shouldn't I be in bed, young streamer? Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, I could be persuaded. Nice work, Shepard. Hey, fun fact, when you're in a point-blank range, weapon damage, all damage is increased by like, by like 400% in this game. Fun fact. Biotic charge, <laughs> Biotic charge all the things. Don't waste time, I can't keep the mechs distracted for long. It's so much fun. More reinforcements heading your way. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Alright. Okay. Left shift grenade launcher. Okay. They've seen. <laughs> Can't get a lock. But yep. <laughs> that take didn't take long. One floor. <laughs> oh, can't get a lock, he says. Can't get a lock. We've been playing for two minutes and it's already happened, boys. <laughs> Yesterday's drink fa Yeah. Get to the door. Hey, the drink fest was fun, though. All right, yeah, get, get go away, Miranda. Don't, I've got the Brady game strategy guide for this. I got it. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Alright, matching start by power. Alright, battery, sandwich. Oh god, battery, sandwich. Why? Uh, Whose footprints are these? Alright, alright. Right. Everyone's favorite minigame. People love how I name these things. Game Mar Toaster. Thanks for the bits, man. Appreciate it. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. No one likes a beggar their friend. Alright, we all good? We all good. Alright, Yodara, have a good night, man. Peace. 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 Instead of see you call it the nose. Uh oh. Log update. I can't it out. <laughs> Overkill. Ecstatic at all the progress we've made, but she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become the new favorite, or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. My first ME2 playthrough, dude. I actually don't know. I think I picked Adept, and it really pissed me off. I think it was maybe it was Vanguard. Get over here! Well, my first. <laughs> Come on! On target! Say the thing! Say the thing! Say the thing! God damn it! Okay, we're done. Come on! Do... No, come on, Jacob! Do the thing! Come on! Do it! What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. So, who's more interesting, Shreem? Jacob or Caden? Actually, I think my first run was with Vanguard, and that wasn't very fun because the DLC shotguns hadn't come out yet. 
I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. <laughs> you better say the line. You better say it. Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Put that there, put that there, put that. Actually, we don't even need really need that. Playing with global cooldowns disabled? No. Left mouse to use pull! Alright. No, you didn't say the thing! Falling back. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You know, the last time we played Mass Effect 2, I did request a mod for every line that Jacob says is replaced. When gravity's one mean mother. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Still ugly as sin. Well, I, I had the chance to uh, do the Mark Vanderloo Shep. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Did Jacob always look this derpy, or am I just now noticing this? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Uh, I believe so, actually. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. Probably best if check, you... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. That was like Bruce is just racist. What did I? I didn't say I hated anyone, except for Rex, but he's dead. So, all right. Hmm. Uh, Cerberus. I mean, he ends up getting a lot of health. Really. All right. Let's get out of here. Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. Bruce 
Bruce is racist against Cadence. I mean, can I really be racist against something that's dead? There, Fencer Brave. Game set match, boyo. Game set match. You've been wrecked. Fangs of Dark for 28. Str Strumer, help! I'm woke. another route out of here preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad just keep moving toward the control room don't get pinned down i'll see what i can do <laughs> holy woke all right i mean and when you biotic charge something i mean the only option is to get woke you have no choice physical reconstruction of subject is complete but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions our orders were clear make commander shepherd who he was before the explosion the same mind the same morals the same personality paragon for life in any way if he's somehow not the man he used to be the lazarus project will have failed i refuse to let that happen <laughs> base charge <laughs> yeah <laughs> real base we're gonna die a lot Shepard, down Let's play here. through hey yo what up Bastards though got me in a leg we need to get off this station I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Oh, hey, this is the part of the show where we could farm massive amount, well, not massive amounts, but slow and very steady Paragon points. If we show, so choose. Choose to. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't remember why people even did that FOP. I don't remember anything this early in the game that required a giant speech check or Paragon or Renegade speech check. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters to clear up. <laughs> that, cha that change in voice, though. <laughs> That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay, so we took good. him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. <laughs> I mean, only if you use gravity to do it. To do it, Alexa, tell me a joke. A web designer. <laughs> oh God! What is Spider-Man's ideal job? A well designer, she says. <laughs> a web designer. Oh, oh God! Uh, how do I do this? Oh. W A. All right, one blue line, one blue line. There, two blue lines. To 
Come on, two blue lines. And good. My WASD and not arrow keys, but their game? What the fuck? Ban her. <laughs> Sorry, Enders, I think she's here to stay. It was the best Christmas gift I ever got. You've been spotted. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the wombo combo. Okay. Or not. Or not. What the? Hey. Oh, that 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 just hide it. Switch. No wonder. <laughs> Ooh, this but this biotic charge is not nearly recharging quite enough here. I will tell you that. Okay. Fine. All right. What the? Really? Really? Get over here. Okay, that's not what. Oh, Jesus Christ! Everything's gone horribly wrong. I repeat, it's all gone horribly wrong. Can't target them. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. <laughs> that didn't take long. All right, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't charge through doorways. That's always, that's always good. It's always good. All right, fucking a game. Jeez, uh, I don't know. Maybe Vanguard was not the right choice here. Maybe not. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. An asteroid floating out in the middle of space is a lot less conspicuous. Underground, some random ass planet, yeah, with uh, one of two different layouts. There's Zero Infamous. Sandwich, sandwich, dreidel, dreidel, battery, battery. My gosh, I'm so good at hacking. So good. Okay. Three purple, three orange, three orange. Come on, come on, give me a winner. Two blue, easy. It's not, it's not the doors that are strong, and it's the, uh, it's the freaking, it's the, it's the doorways. I don't know, is there a mod to make Biotic Charge more responsive? Because that would be a pretty goddamn good mod. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. You really think some fucking Steve Blum Gimp motherfucker's gonna kill Commander Shepard here? If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? I mean, but your logo is like plastered everywhere, man. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? 
Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Ah, the cheeky banter. <gasps> My god, that's respected member Unkip! What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Uh, but you just said that you spent too much time trying to save me. <laughs> okay. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Yeah, I know, T Tim. That's what that's what I'm saying. Renegade run. No, God, no one, Kim. Paragon for life. Download texture packs. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. What do you Come think, on, Big Miranda, Buddha? More tests. Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you, if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. If you were in a coma for two years, do you still count your birthdays? The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I mean, if you're dead, do you really age? Because uh, I'm pretty sure he was dead as fuck. Dead as fuck. Alright, let's see. What sort of uh, cool armors do we have here? Ooh, Inferno armor. Uh, let's see. Regeneration bonus. Storm speed, health plus 20. Blood dragon armor. Power damage by 15. Hmm. Inferno armor, look like an idiot. Negotiation bonus plus ten percent. <laughs> I think we're go we'll go we'll go with the collector. And our casual appearance. What do we have here? X twenty three is such a badass. Yeah. <laughs> what about those girly grunts though? Okay. <laughs> and there we go. Excellent. Alright, I am stack jacked and ready to go for some Mass Effect 2 here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 
the helmets never come off, do they? <laughs> then the elusive man goes Come insane and shepherd. orders the base to be destroyed. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Does Admiral Kahoku the feel the same way? What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. What about tombs? Uh, that wasn't an option until the third one. Zero Infamous. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Holy shit, he is saying humanity. <laughs> Yo, this humanity stuff's gonna be huge. Fighting a war doesn't that seem whoops. like We're committed. If, if we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act... If this no is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier, and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her. And she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Build a wall around the Omega Relay, huh? Couldn't they just blast through it with their eyeball... eyeball robots? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. <gasps> Dear God. The streamer's leveled up. Achievement update very elusive. Yay. Yay! Okay, With yeah, we're gonna need more. Identified. Big Buddha, congrats on finally getting the name change! <gasps> My god, he noticed. <laughs> Thanks, Big Buddha. Uh, I'd just like to thank, uh, I'd like to thank my great mods, like, uh, of course, Big Buddha over here. We've got Inda, he's got the slimiest weeb hammer in all of Streamtown. 
And there's just there's just there's just so many people to thank. But stream town on that weakness identified. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for the night. Wow, you're the best, almost. You see, if I was the best, I wouldn't quit. But I'm not the best, so I am quitting.